Hi, and welcome to this demo for comps from spreadsheet version 2.0. This version adds two important new features. One is you can actually now replace layers as, as well as just text layers. So if you, for example, in this case, have two different pieces of audio that need to be put into the separate um, comps, they can be replaced by indicating them with a little pound marker and the text is still indicated with a little caret marker. And basically the way it works is you have a spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet, in this first column here, which is, has a header called core spot, you indicate the name of the comp. So in this case, this will be the name of the comp that is gonna be used. And then within the comp, there's different uh, text items. So for example, here we'll say spot one, right? So this is the template comp for spot one. So you can see that there's these little layers, text layers that start with carrots. So if we come to the beginning, this is the slate part. So in the slate, from the spreadsheet, you're gonna wanna replace the uh, the, the phone number, for example. So in this case, there's gonna be a different, well, the phone number happens later, but let's say you wanna change the date. In the case of date, date is a special marker that inserts today's date. Um, then the ISCII code will change on every version. So that will be inserted here where it says code. So if you can see here, this is the um, this is the layer that, that, that's labeled as ISCII. And then finally, name is the name of the spot. So the name of the spot will, is what's considered name. So that's under here. So for example, here I'll, the, for the first version, I'll call it High Energy Oakland. And, it'll, and, then, and it'll insert this phone number, which if we go later in the spot, you can see here that we have a phone number, in this case here the phone number. So again, by putting this little carrot in phone, it will replace it with the phone number that's here. And then of course the ISCII that's here. And then in the case of audio, it's gonna find this layer here that's got the little pound sign for audio. And it'll actually look for a item in your project. So you already have to have everything imported into your project. But here it will actually find something called audio. And well, sorry, it'll, according to the spreadsheet, it'll find audio one dot wave, right? And so then it'll actually replace that version there. Now, um, the other big change is that it actually is a dockable UI panel now. So you install it in the script UI panels folder and you run it from the Windows menu. Here's comps from spreadsheet. And when you run it, you get a dockable panel. So I can actually dock it somewhere if I'd like. And then, um, you can either just run comps from spreadsheet, which is the same as if you have it installed in a scripts menu and you run it from here, which is the way it used to be. Um, but it adds these two new buttons where you can actually create these dummy text layers. So it's just sort of a convenience. So if, 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 if as well as the phone number here, I wanted to also insert the name, I could just say create text object. And in this case, I got to get this from the spreadsheet. So in this case, it's name. So I'm just going to call it name. Hit OK. So here it added a, a new text layer with the name on it. So I'm just going to put it over here. And I'm going to actually just have this part just work over with the thing. Again, see its name. I'm going to scale it down and make it make it match. And so it'll just be here with this, you know, with this phone number. I'm just showing you an example of how you can use this. Anyway, so when you're ready to run it, you just run run comps from spreadsheet and it gives you this window it automatically finds all of the comps that are available in your project so in this case the two templates that I have are both spot one and spot two I'm not gonna use slate text that's just my slate so um, so I want to remove the slate text because I only want to use so I just double click and by double clicking I'm sorry uh, I want to double click to add the ones that I want to select. So I double clicked both spot one and part two and see how they move over to the selected comps. So once that happens, I hit continue. Then it's going to ask me to find my, my, my spreadsheet basically. So let's just back up for one second, back into the spreadsheet. And before you can actually um, use the spreadsheet, what the very important thing is after you set it up, you have to save it. So you have to do file, save as, and you have to save it as a tab delimited text file, okay? You don't wanna save it as an Excel file. You wanna save it as a tab delimited text file. 
So once we do that, it's going to give it this .txt extension. So I hit save. I already had it. I'm just going to replace it. It basically says that I'm going to lose some formatting. Say that's okay. So now when I come back to uh, my After Effects script, when it asks me to import it, instead of selecting the XLS file, I want to import the grid.txt file. And once you select that, it's basically got another window now that's going to ask me to find... Uh, it, it's essentially these are the headers that it found in the spreadsheet so it says okay go ahead and match these some core spot essentially is which comp I'm gonna use right so I'm just gonna say comp it uses the comp then name it automatically matched for name because now it's actually finding these layers in here that are called certain things phone number it didn't find something called exactly phone number so I actually have to tell it that it actually should work with phone in the case of ISKI, it found ISKI. In the case of audio, it automatically found audio. And, um, and so and then it asks me some options for the new composition that it's going to create. It can actually create it based on line number. In other words, just number them. It can use the original comp name with incrementing numbers. It can use the, um, the, 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 the comp name, uh, the name of the spot, uh, however you want. So we're going to actually select uh, original comp name with incrementing number. And hit OK. Um, oh, there was one thing I forgot to say that you could actually select the render location, uh, and that's just where it's going to basically set all of these comps to render when it adds them to the render queue. Anyway, do you want to work in a copy of your project, or do you want to just work in the existing? I'm going to say yes. I want to work in a copy, so I just basically save it. So this is just my working project or whatever. And I hit save, and once it's saved, as you can see here. It it's, a, it's added all of the spots in here. So, and it also created a new folder in here called comps from spreadsheets. So here you can see it basically just created the comp name and then what the number, it just sequentially numbered them all. And so there we have it. We have all of the spots. And so if you open them up, uh, in this case, the, the names overlapped, but you can see here it added the name of in the spreadsheet. It basically went by and found high energy Oakland, which was what name, and that's why I inserted name there. And in, in the case of the spreadsheet, it did, or uh, the slate, it did it as well. And then it also inserted the ISCII code 464654, which if we go here, see that's the ISCII code. And then it finally, it replaced the um, audio layer with the audio layer from the project. And again, in here, it added the name. And it does this for all of these spots. So this was spot one, and then and then for spot two, it actually used spot two, you know, the template spot two. And then also, so as you can see in spot two, I had not added the uh, the the stuff. It just had it, add, it had the ISCII number in here instead of the phone number, and it didn't have the name. So this is how you can actually use it to use different comps and stuff. So anyway, um, there is a more detailed uh, manual that you can refer to because I know that this is a lot to, to sort of understand really kind of all at once but there's a very detailed manual where you can refer to anything that you might have questions on and in a cinch that is comps from spreadsheets